Greenshank. Tatanus glottis, vexed. Le Chevalier Boyer. We are not inclined to consider the upward curvature which the mandibles of this bird exhibit of sufficient importance to warrant its separation from the genus Tatanus, answering as the rest of its characters do to those upon which that genus was established. For like most of the species, it undergoes a slight periodical change in the coloring of its plumage, the summer livery, which is varied with markings of dark gray, particularly on the chest and flanks, giving place in autumn and winter to a uniform tint of white over the whole of the undersurface. It is in this latter stage that the bird is represented on our plate. In its habits and manners also, as well as in the circumstance of the sexes not being distinguished by the coloring of their plumage, it is strongly allied to the two species of redshank, which may be considered as typical examples. From the circumstance of the green shank having been lately added to the fauna of America by that justly celebrated ornithologist M. Audubon, it may be considered to possess a range scarcely equaled in extent by any of the sandpipers, as it is generally spread over the whole of India and Africa, nor is it less numerously diffused over the countries of Europe. Although it does not make the British islands either a place of permanent residence or of incubation, still it is sufficiently numerous during its vernal and autumnal migrations to be considered as strictly within the list of British species. In England it frequents the shores of the sea and the mouths of the larger rivers. On the continent, during the winter, it is common on the coast of Holland, but less so on that of France. It also occurs on the lakes of Switzerland and Germany, as well as on the banks of the Rhine and other large rivers. Its breeding place must in all probability be looked for in the high northern latitudes, which form a place of summer residence to so many other members of the family. Its food consists of aquatic worms, insects, mollusca, and the small fry of fishes. Top of the head and sides of the neck dull white, streaked with dusky brown. Face, sides of the head, throat, front of the neck, and all the undersurface pure white. Flanks streaked and rayed transversely with light brown. Upper part of the back, wing coverts, tertials, and scapulars deep brown, tinged with purple. Each feather margined with grayish white, and dotted with brown of a deeper tint. Quills brownish black. The shafts of the first being white. Lower part of the back and rump white. Tail white irregularly barred with brown. Bill brownish black. Legs and feet greenish gray. The figure is of the natural size. The Birds of Europe by John Gould, Volume 4. 1837.